Horror Tree back again with another dose of my Horror Tree weekly wrap up. And today, as usual, I'll be talking about four submission calls that are currently up on the Horror Tree website. So let's get started. Okay. First up is Phobica Books Terrors from the Toy Box. So the theme is Terrors from the Toy Box. And the brief is in a dark corner of the attic lies a wooden box burgeoning with forgotten relics from bygone decades. Devil dolls and terrifying teddies, abominable action figures and gruesome games, all lying in wait for the opportunity to be free to wreak terror once again. So they're after stories of between 2,000 to 7,000 words. They do not accept simultaneous submissions for this one and payment is 20 pounds regardless of story length plus a paperback and digital copy of the anthology and the submissions close on the 1st of august 2023 moving on to sinister smile press if i die before i wake volume 8 tales of halloween horror so the theme for this is it's volume 8 of the popular better off dead series and it will be themed around Halloween horror. Now I had a look at these guys website and I have to say the cover for this anthology looks absolutely amazing. It is so cool. Um, they are after stories of between 4,000 to 10,000 words. No reprints but multiple submissions are okay. Payment is between four and 6,000 words you'll get 30 US dollars. Between 6,000 and 8,000 words you'll get 40 US dollars and payment for stories between 8,000 and 10,000 words is 50 US dollars plus every accepted author will get a copy of the anthology and the submissions close on the 9th of April this year. Okay moving on to Bridget's Gate Press Scissor Sisters Sapphic Villains Anthology. So the guys over at Bridget Gate, Bridges Gate Press are reclaiming the predatory lesbian trope. So think Mrs. Danvers in Rebecca or Roxy in Basic Instinct. So they're looking for stories of sapphic villains. Because they're looking to reclaim this trope and not reinforce it, they don't just want sapphic villains. They they want sapphic characters that can be also also can be heroes and anti-heroes. They especially they especially love to see stories of feminine rage, erotic horror, gender bent retellings, and re reclamations of power by queer characters. So subgenres they're looking for as well is erotic horror, gothic ho horror, quiet horror. Body horror must have diverse LGBTQ plus representation. Time period, it doesn't, any time in the past or present and location anywhere on earth for these, for your story to be set. They are after stories of between one and a half thousand to four thousand words. Payment is 0 0.08 cent per word plus a digital and paperback copy of the anthology. The submission window is open on the 2nd of April and closes on the 31st of August. And last, not least, they never are, is Engine Books Cryptid Stories. So Engine Books is now accepting submissions to the latest from the Rock Anthology. This is due to be released in 2024. So stories for this collection might include close encounters with a cryptid, dealing with a cryptid hoax, be written as a hor horrifying ordeal or as, a, or as historical fiction. They are encouraging writers to let their imagination play, but they ask that you read these following guidelines carefully before submitting and I will read some of this out to you now but I do very strongly suggest you jump on these guys website because this is a very detailed call far too detailed for me to go into in this video but I will give you the most important part of this call I believe um, from the rock collections are intended to highlight the fantastic varied writers Newfoundland and Labrador has fostered. So when submitting, they request authors indicate if they are current or former residents and they are after stories of between 7,000 words maximum, that's it. They are, af 
multiple submissions are okay and so are reprints. Payment is 0.01 Canadian cent per word to an upper limit of 7,000 words. So again, 7,000 words is the absolute maximum for this anthology call. Sorry for this submission call. And submissions close on the 31st of October, Halloween this year. And that's it guys, another awesome week of awesome submission opportunities by awesome publishers. So if any of these submission calls do grab you, please jump on the Horror Tree website. All the information you need is on there. Get on there, check it out. And if you are going to submit, all the very best of luck to you. And if you are liking these videos, if you're watching them, please, we would love for you to hit like, hit share, hit subscribe, hit comment. Send us some feedback. We would absolutely love to hear from you. You can talk to us via Twitter. You can talk to us via Facebook, via Instagram. We are on the socials, please. Drop us a line if you feel so inclined. And as always, thank you for watching. You absolutely rock and we really do appreciate your support. And until next time, guys, stay safe, stay cool and stay spooky. See you later. Ooh.